Hello everyone. Well, we are well into 2015 and I thought, hey, I should probably do my 2014 year in review video. Last year when I was watching some videos by the YouTuber Kaylee Kill, she did a video called her 2013 memory jar and I thought to myself, hey, that's a really great idea. So I ended up creating my 2014 memory jar because I started it January in 2014. So every time there was something that I thought was notable, I would write it down, fold it on a sticky note, and put it inside this jar. So for today's video, I'm going to read all of the items that I wrote down. Okay, so the first one is... The entire month of June, each Monday, a zombie survivor promo video came out from A Second Son, and there was a total of five of them. 18th November, I was able to order my Nexus 6 in like the 10 minutes before it sold out. September 12th, 2014, I ran in Electro Dash for the first time. 30th of July, I went to the Calgary Rolla meetup, met Gunnarola and lots of cool people. And it was also my first YouTube meetup that I've ever been to. That meetup was a lot of fun. September 1st, I finished reading Notes from the Internet Apocalypse by Wade Gladstone. July 26th, I ran in Zombie Survivor 2014. Lost all my lives, but still had fun, and I also filmed the entire event. And there's actually a recap video of the event on the Second Sun YouTube channel, which you can go to by going to youtube.com slash secondsunyyc. And it's sun as in S-U-N. 14th of November plus the 16th of November was helping out on a larger film production as a production assistant for the short film called Lazarus. November 15th, went to my first wedding and was the best man. And I also had to give a speech. That was a little nerve wracking. I'm not very good with public speaking. 20th of August, I launched my new channel look and my new end screen. What do you think of it? I love it. It's so cool. It's green and like techy and it's just, it's awesome. I love my new channel look. On the 24th of December, I got my Nexus 6. On the 3rd of September, went to the X929 Secret Show and saw the Gay 90s and July Talk play. July 1st, I saw Mother Mother for the first time ever and met Ryan and Jasmine from Mother Mother. March 26th, I saw Rich O'Coin and Mounties with Dallas. Also, I met Rich and Parker from Mounties. Rich from Rich O'Coin. Next up. 30th of September, I saw Roco Code for the first time with Dallas and Jake and Maureen and got a free 7-inch vinyl. I don't even have a vinyl player. I have no idea. I've ended up with like a bunch of vinyl. I have a Mother Mother vinyl. I have a Rich O'Coin vinyl. And yeah, I'm looking over there because they're actually like out of shot just down there. But yeah, I don't even have a record player. I don't even know why I have vinyl. September 7th, 2014, I was in Opal, Kananaskis with my friend Graydon, and we saw a plane that landed on the highway. So it turns out this plane was having like engine troubles or something, and it needed to land, and it just decided to land on a highway because what else are you gonna do? 28th of June, 2014, I did Color Me Rad for the second year, and this time it was with friends. Last time, they all bailed. I've already purchased my tickets for Color Me Rad 2015. Color Me Rad is so much fun. 7th of March, I saw Royal Canoe and Bo Real Sons with Dallas for her birthday, because it was her birthday. 30th of May 2014, I saw a Doctor Who theater play called Who Knows, and it was fantastic. 26th of November, I started my French YouTube channel called Le DXT. And I haven't uploaded a video in a little while. It's been almost a month. I need to film another one. I have another idea. I just haven't had enough time. I should stop making excuses. 19th November, I bought tickets for VidCon 2015. It will be my first year at VidCon. September 18th, I went to my second Rich O'Coin show and it was so great live. I actually went to that show with my friend Maureen. April 25th to 26th, I went to the Calgary Comic Expo and got a photo taken with Matt Smith and Karen and also saw the Doctor Who panel. And that panel was so great because just the back and forth between Karen and Matt, oh, so good. September 25th, I finished reading Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. 18th of July, 2014, I actually got the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, which is right here. Haven't used it for very much, but I bought it because it was like on sale and it was a ridiculous price. It was like 50% off. 
January 11th, I started a memory jar based on the video by Kaylee Kill that she made for 2013, which is exactly what I said at the beginning of this video. I wasn't sure if this was in here. March 31st, Google Maps did a Pokemon challenge thing where you could catch 150 Pokemons all over the world. I actually caught them all in under seven hours, but there was a lot of cheating and looking on Reddit and whatnot. I did not find them all just by myself. I had to use help from others. But yeah, I caught all 150 of them. I spent seven hours doing that. On June 2nd, I actually ended up beating Leon's story in Resident Evil 6. I actually got the game way back in October 2012 when it came out, but I haven't played it very much. I don't play video games very much. But yeah, I finally beat his story. I still have Ada's story to do and a couple of other ones. I am not very far in that game, but Resident Evil is so fun. Resident Evil 6 is kind of meh. Whatever. Hopefully Resident Evil 7 will be awesome! 25th of March. It was one year of doing YouTube videos and I haven't missed a Monday. May 20th, I moved out into this place that I'm living at currently. And that is why the wall has changed. And I made a whole video about it. November 11th, I went to my second YouTube meetup and met up with Gunnarola and also met more cool YouTube people. February 15th, I bought my first DSLR, which is the Canon 70D, which is what this is currently being filmed on. I love that camera, it is so awesome. On June 6th, I saw the Fault in Our Stars movie and it was very true to the book and it was great. December 6th, I saw Mother Mother and USS. I still want to call them USSR. July 13th, I hiked Hailing Peak and Miner's Peak with my parents. 24th of August, I did the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, which has kind of really just disappeared. No one's talking about that anymore. 7th of December, I went and saw Zoo Lights. February 14th, I fully paid off my credit cards for the first time ever since 2008 on Valentine's Day. What a great present to me. 28th of January, I finished reading John Dies at the End. January 5th, 2014, I hit 200 subscribers. 12th November, I got my first video response to a video called Finding Myself, which is pretty cool. Even though video responses are dead, it's still, I would consider it a video response, but it's not the video response in the old school way of video responses. May 22nd, I went to the Coke Covert show with my friend Dallas and saw Said the Whale and Tokyo Police Club. 30th of January, I went to a talk held by Lacey Green about sex at the University of Calgary, and it was very informative. September 27th, I was a guest on a live show that my friend Kyle did. On the 30th of August, I hiked Mount Yamnuska. On the 23rd of August, I finished reading Paper Towns by John Green. August 8th and 9th, I went to Chasing Summer with my friend Vero. It was so much fun. 25th of September, I was tagged to make my first tag video by my friend Izzy. December 13th to 19th, I helped out as a lamp op in a pilot to a show called How to Survive the Zombie Apocalypse in Retail. So those are all the things I did in 2014. And I'm going to be doing the exact same thing for 2015 because it's a great way to look back on the year and see what you did. And yeah, that's it for this video. In the comments below, let me know one of your favorite things that you did in 2014. And yeah, I will see you next week. Don't forget to have an epically awesome day. Bye.